This episode is brought to you by Scale Production and thescalemodeler.com. Hey guys, welcome to the final assembly. And as you pretty much already know, this is going to be the final assembly video. So that's what I'm going to do. Pretty much all the parts in this video will be glued with super glue. You can see the little green and white bottle in the back. I'm using Zap medium super glue, so it's not really thin and it's not overly thick, so ideal for my use and purpose. So I'm just gonna go through and assemble loads of parts with this glue and a couple uh, exceptions there. All the clear parts will be glued on with uh, Revel Contact Clear, but you will see that later on when I start doing that. In the meantime, enjoy. As I will be lowering this car, I cut off the tops of the springs so that the wheels fit in between the wheel well and the spring as they are pretty wide uh, compared to the stock wheels. So this had to be removed in, in order to fit the ring or the lip, the inside lip of the wheel uh, in. If I didn't do that, it would stick out quite a bit or I needed to cut into the wheel and this seemed like a better option. For the rear I just cut off the tops of the springs, basically doing the same as in the front. seats I decided to use some aftermarket ones. These are from Skill Production and the link will be in the description below. interior is now assembled so it was time to uh, shove the interior tub into the body. This was quite a bit of a squeeze, just had to pull some of the body parts uh, out a bit to fit it in but it worked perfectly in the end. The chassis was a bit harder to do, pretty much the same principle as the interior but some parts needed to be bent out quite a bit further and it was a bit of a hassle to find out which part was catching where and uh, mostly some were catching at the same time but uh, if you're building this kit you will pretty uh, easily find out where to pull and what is hitting what um, but it's really hard to film this as I'm moving around with my head quite a bit and moving it closer to my face and you can't really see it because the camera is not uh, automatically aiming at where I want it to point it 
So I cut out just a bit, uh, but I think you'll get the point. This is pretty much the same as every other Revell kit. Just pull some of the body parts out, some of the fenders out, and it will fit perfectly. The rear section from the Skill Production body kit fit in with no problems at all. A superb fit, nothing uh, had to be adjusted at all. It just slid in, a small bit of glue, and it stayed there without any problems. For the clear parts, I decided to use Revell Contact Clear. This is a glue specifically designed for clear parts and has a small uh, built-in application brush which really works super well. For the rear window I decided to put the glue onto the window as uh, the edge was a bit harder to do with the brush and that worked out fine as well. Now that most of the body is finished it was time to do a bit of a test fit with the wheel to see how high it would sit and what it was hitting. Now in this case it was hitting the brake discs and I decided just to cut the top off and round the edges a bit because you wouldn't see it anyway if it's on and uh, this way it got a really really mean stanced look. Um, I, firstly I cut it flat and then uh, to get it even deeper into the wheel well I decided to round the edges off. And for the rear I did exactly the same. A bit of super glue in some spots to keep it safely in place and that's pretty much all you need to do. And again, just like the rear body piece, these bumpers fit without no problem at all and I didn't even need to use glue to keep them in place. The front bumpers came with some small indicators as well and same as the rear, no glue, just a perfect fit. For gluing on the door handles, I don't really like to use a super aggressive glue like super glue. So instead of super glue, I decided to use some of the Revell Contact Clear and just apply a small amount of glue with a toothpick. These mirrors were designed to just glue onto the body, but this is a really weak bond. So I drilled a small hole into the mirror and inserted a small pin and drilled a hole into the body where I wanted the mirrors to be placed and then just glued it in and aligned it. To give the taillights a bit of a realistic look, I decided to put some bare metal foil on the back but you could also just paint it silver on the back or paint the area where you uh, would glue the clear parts in in some silver just to give it a bit of a deeper and more reflective look. I glued these in with some Revell Contact Clear as well. I did not like the stock exhaust tip, so I cut that off and glued a new one from Skill Production on, but that stuck out a bit too much, so I cut off some more and glued it on further back.
and that's it that was the final piece to put on and uh, so far so good everything is on everything stayed on and everything fit together well so uh, this gets a really really huge thumbs up from me and I would recommend to buy this kit as everything fits everything goes well together and especially with this body kit from scale production it gives it a bit of a more modern look or something different than the other guys that build it check them out on their website or on their Facebook page and also check out the scalemodeler.com I am a dealer for zero paint skill production and C1 models also don't forget to give us a like on Facebook to keep updated on our progress questions or suggestions shoot us an email or post a comment and of course as always thanks for watching hope to see you guys next time